What? <laughs> this eyebrow is way taller than this one, and I had no idea until TikTok. Look, does it, am I that not so much? Can we start that? Can we just start that? Push it, and we're going to stock cut your eyebrow real fast. Okay, hold on. I like that. that the sounds are so loud like you wouldn't think that they would be loud should I put these on the floor well I'm just gonna keep mine up oh I put it on them but you can still hear it but it's fine okay hello beautifuls and welcome to the unfuck yourself and beautiful podcast with your host Alexis Manglin and Candy Pitch I have to do a little dance when I say Alexis Manglin <laughs> so we were talking like right before we turned on can you hear me yeah um, we were talking about, like right before, like how weird we are on, on our facial. Yeah. Like, okay. So I saw myself and I never noticed it, but TikTok has that inverted filter. I know a lot of you know what that is. And my eyebrow is higher on one side than the other. And now I will forever see it. I can't unsee that. And I'm like, I mean, I don't really care, but like, I never know 30 years of my life. I never noticed that. I don't notice it. Really? Um, I can plainly so see it now. <laughs> when I was I was doing pharmaceuticals and had money to be able to go to a really nice salon, this guy used to do my hair and he would flip my hair this way. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you're a millennial, the side part. Did you notice how I middle parted it today so I didn't get make fun make, so make fun he of He would say Candy, and then they just put it on this side. And I would say, I've always done it on this side because this is how my hair just normally just goes. Right? And he goes, your eyeball is blue. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody wants to see that eyeball like that. <laughs> and my feelings were hurt for so long. I was like, oh my God, I've worn my hair forever. Yeah, one of my best friends in high school, we were just chilling in our broadcasting class or whatever. And are they? And, right? And he, he goes, oh, you have a lazy eye. And I was like, no, I do not have a lazy eye. Like, I know that I don't have a lazy eye. I've never had a lazy eye. And he's like, no, like, straight up, go look. And I was like, I do. <laughs> and now I've seen it my whole life, but I, I never have... noticed my eyebrows were different. Do I have two different See? sized eyeballs? <laughs> I can't tell from here. But at that point, like... So that's who you are, right? This is who you are. Like, I just have one eyebrow that's higher than the other. Do I go figure out how to get it fixed, or do I just accept that I've had it for 30 years and I can have it for another 30? Uh, I've had stitches right here, so maybe that's the cause. But not And me. I've also had stitches here. Wait, which side? Wait, the same guy that told me I have a lazy eye is the one who oh, yeah. made me, um, My sister threw me smacked in the bed. me in the head with a door, and I blacked out down the center of my head and I have like a crease and I, I had like know. nine stitches here and like four stitches here both from the mm -hmm. same sister that I'm just me. checking the no, no, um, I'm just kidding I'm just checking the look because it sounds a little muffled today but I don't know why but I think it's fine I just have to make sure the kiddos didn't mess with it okay so today we're talking about what are we talking about? We're just talking today. Join oh, us shoot. as we talk about um oh, I had it and now I don't know well, we kind of wanted to talk about... Uh, oh, I know what we're going to talk about. Uh, friendship that sometimes you can't be friends because of the friends that you have. Like, when you get married... Okay, uh, exa example. I got married when I was 16. No, 18. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my brain today? I almost spit out my coffee. <laughs> um, so, I started dating my husband at 16. And then we got married at 18. So I've known him gazillion years. Gazillion years. And I've lost... Most of your life. <laughs> and I've lost friends because of our our relationship from my friends that wanted me just to be... You be my best friend to ones that were, I don't like him. Or I'm in a relationship with one of your friends and now they're not together and because I'm friends with Sasha, Sasha won't let me be friends with Caden. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like yeah. now I can't be friends with Caden because Sasha doesn't like Caden anymore. 
And then it's like, but I like Caden and I like Sasha. These are two made up names. I have no idea who or they are. Or the worst is like um, in-laws. Like oh when you gosh. lose in-law friends or you have to be friends with in-laws you don't want to be friends with. Right. There's there's both sides of it. There's mm -hmm. like, okay, I really don't like my in-laws and I don't have a choice. Or I really love my in-laws but now I'm going through either a divorce or a breakup or whatever and now I lose them. Right. So it's it's mm -hmm. very, it's it's hard. It's mm -hmm. and, and the same goes for um, family so your close family, your sisters, brothers, mothers, dads, and things like that is sometimes some people don't have a good relationship and they try and it actually makes their life worse mm -hmm. and, and they feel like they can't cut ties because, oh, that's my parent or that's my sibling. Like mm -hmm. that's somebody that has to be in my life when that's not actually true or the case. Like that's not how it has it's to really be. It's really hard. It's like, or even like as a mom, uh, like, or start at the beginning, like even in elementary school, my sister and I were really, really close in age. And so we weren't in the same grade, but she was right behind me. We rode the bus together, you know, blah, blah, blah. If Casey didn't like somebody, I couldn't like that somebody because that's my sister. Right. And I have to protect my sister because I'm the older sister or vice versa. She may hate one of my friends and then I have to make the decision of, Am I going to upset this person that I'm going to have with, for the rest of my life? Like, she's going to be in my life forever. I hope she's going to be in my life. <laughs> if you like her. Right. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, there's there's such a... Uh, uh, well, same goes with, like, if she is dating somebody. Oh, that's or, the hardest. Yeah, because then it's like, oh, I'm... I You get to know them. Okay, here's you... the worst. is I have brothers, so they date my friends, and I date their friends. So either when we break up, they either lose a friend, or they try to keep friends without talking about me, or I lose a friend and try to keep friends without talking to them. Like, oh, hey, I hang out with so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, because mm -hmm. we work together. And I'm like, okay, I shouldn't talk about that. Like, I don't know right. how they're feeling or, you know, mm -hmm. or I don't want to talk. Like, my friend tells me personal things and my brother tells me personal things and then I don't want them to cross because no. I don't want to hurt either of their feelings no. because they mean a lot to right. me. Right, right. It's a very hard dynamic either and, way. And nowadays, like, like, as in elementary school, like, I hate her, so you can't be friends with her, Candy. That happened. And I then, lost friends in elementary school the same way. I wasn't uh, loud or outgoing, and so I lost a lot of friends in elementary school because they hung out with the other friend. And I'm like, dude, you're like my mm -hmm. neighbor. Like, we hang out every day. How are we not friends, friends anymore all of a sudden? like. But the dynamic now is, is not just, I'm not going to her house. Or she, I see her going over to her house. Hmm. Now it's, what? I saw you on TikTok and you were playing, you were doing a TikTok dance with her. I thought we were friends. Yeah. And then you're just like, I am so confused. Why can't we have, and I get it. It's jealousy and insecurities a lot. Um, what I found out, so I recently haven't had a lot of people that I talk to or hang out with. And it's not that I don't want to be friends with them or don't like them. It's that I'm working on me and getting to a better me. And I can't physically be there for somebody anymore. Mm, like, it's so hard. It's, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I openly admitted that I am not a good friend right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a good place to be a good friend right now. I have a lot going on. I've got a lot of kids. I would love friends and I can sit and pout about how I don't have friends. I have a lot of people who love and support me and I do have a few friends who reach out to me and I do explain to them that I do not have the time to reach out to you all the time and I apologize. Right. Because I just don't. Right. I, and I always thought, you know, how come I never have any friends? But I'm that friend that if you don't text me, I probably won't text you for six days and that's just because I have so much going it's not, on. you're not thinking of yeah. that. And it so just happens. Then I lose friends because, you know, I'm not... And your feelings get hurt. Like, oh, you didn't like my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, I literally slept for three hours and... But Could, I've talked about this in the past mm -hmm. that uh, let's get rid of the idea that a friendship, because like, uh, let's get rid of this uh, toxic idea that you're not my friend if you're not reaching out to me first. Because, mm -hmm. hello, where am I at? Like, I might be in a deep, dark depression, mm -hmm. you know, or anxiety or having a lot going on with kids or somebody might be sick or I might have lost a, a family member mm -hmm. or something. It's not necessarily that I'm just not thinking about you. I have so much going on in my life. 
And so just because I didn't reach out doesn't make us not friends anymore. It just means that either I need my space or you need to reach out to me. Or if you don't feel like reaching out, wait till I reach back out to you. I mean, right. you can't get offended all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it's so important to start working on yourself and your shadows and, and, and your insecurities right. and, and noticing them. Find out what makes you jealous and be like, okay, that's where... Like, people call it shadow work. It's right. working on the part of you that's deep and dark and that you don't always want to work on because that's like the, once you realize your insecurity or your jealousy, then that's where you have to say, okay, why did this come up? Why am I feeling this way? I was complaining all the time. I don't have any friends. But was I making an effort? No. Mm -hmm. I was like feeling negative or stuck or feeling like people, I always felt like I talked too much or talked too mm -hmm. much about myself. And I was like, why am I feeling this way? And I was like, okay, I need to You're pull just, yeah. myself back. Find out what the issue is and then either bring myself back when I'm ready or, you know, move on from the situation. Mm -hmm. or, or in situations like you were talking about, like, you know, like when the kids started dating and then started having kids and things like that. And then started separating from, maybe they separated from their significant other. Then it's like, I, I feel like now I can't be friends with that significant other yeah. or... Or, I mean, I had an ex in my life for seven years who was super close to my parents, and it's like, what do my parents do now? Do they help him still feel... Um, we still love him. Right? But it's one of those things where it's like, I was like, that's fine with me. I'm in a good place where just don't talk to me about it or don't tell me about it. Let me live my life. Mm -hmm. And they did, and it, it, it was fine. It worked mm -hmm. out fine. Nobody got hurt. Nobody, you know, there was no big fight. And so that was a good situation that came from it because... But I was also in a really healthy spot where I was like, I know that but what I was happens, ready to move what on. What happens when they're in your life permanently but can't be? Right, yeah. That's hard because then it's like you could you could hurt so many different... You could hurt this person, you could hurt that person, but it's hurting me too. At what point do you realize your hurt is more important when than everybody else's hurt. hurt? Yeah, I mean, I've cried it. I cried at Sam's one time for like, but like these people thought I was dying because <laughs> of a birthday gift that didn't get sent to a person. And you know, it's like, you know, it's like all this emotions and it's, and it should have been, if it got there, it got there. If it didn't, it didn't. If she you, didn't you get did it, You did your did. best. You tried I your did. best. I did. And, yeah. and, and that's the way I've looked at it like as an older adult. Like, I get it. I understand. You're upset with this person, so I I have to step away for a while. But maybe it's not something you're ever actually going to understand. No, I mean you. you right? Mean, yeah. Like there's situations where you're never actually, especially like breakups and things. Like I know that there's people in my past who are still don't understand things, and you're like, mm -hmm. it's not for you to understand. This is the situation that happened. This is where I'm at, and sometimes it's just you can't understand mm -hmm. it, and you never will, and you just have to either hope for a better outcome soon, or you know, hope for a good, good future, yeah, a good future. But that's the thing is, is I'm so big on let's not, let's not. The past is gone and done. You can't rewrite it. Right. The future is ours, but it's not ours to worry about. Right. Because oh, it's gonna so happen good. the way yeah. it's gonna happen. Right. And then the present is the only thing we can change right now. And not even change, it's the only thing we can adapt to mm -hmm. or make the way we want it. Right. So, like when you wake up and you stub your toe and you're like, today's going to be a bad day. Okay, well, you just made your present bad because you stub your toe. I'm not saying it's, like, sometimes it's okay. All right, I stub my toe, I'm having a bad day, I'm just going to crawl back in bed, I'm done. You can do that, can that's totally acceptable. Say, oh, right. or say, you know, th what's funny is there's times where something bad happens and you laugh, and then mm -hmm. there's times something bad happens and you cry. It's literally Marcia did that yesterday, yeah. so she rammed her elbow into something, and we were exhausted. We had been working our butt off yesterday, mm -hmm. and, and she rammed her elbow, and you could just see that she just wanted to like just cry. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> And I was just like, shake it out, shake it out. Uh -huh. Let's just shake yeah. it out, shake it out. That's the thing is like, and sometimes you can't really, like yeah, people are like, I, you choose. I knew her enough yeah. that it would be okay. Well, that I some say. people feel like, oh, you choose if you're happy or not. Well, sometimes I'm just not feeling happy. I have a book I've been reading to the kids every night. My five-year-old 
loves it's it. It's like Grumpy Monkey. Yes, it's called Grumpy Monkey, and he Thank says, you. "I'm not grumpy." I'm not but grumpy. at the end of the book, he's feeling sad because he yelled at everybody, and then he's like, "You know what? Maybe I am a little grumpy. Maybe I just need to try again tomorrow." And I'm like, "That's that's mm-hmm. fashion. That's so important." My five year old. I'm like, because if you're feeling grumpy, it's okay to be grumpy. Just kind of sit, be by yourself, and then tomorrow we can play and have fun. Mm-hmm. It'll, it's a new day. But don't worry about being better tomorrow. And don't worry about being better now if you feel grumpy. Or that you were grumpy. Like, right? I'm not going to hold it against you that yes. you were gr- grumpy. His friends needed to see that, you know, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, his other friend got hurt, and he's like, oh, my God, you're grumpy too. And he's like, no, I got hurt. And he's like, I'll feel better tomorrow. And he's like... Yeah, me too. I'll feel better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, it's the same type of hurt, internal Mm -hmm. or external. External. It's the same type of hurt. So, yes. Your feelings are valid no matter what. The problem is, is we can't sit and worry about them. I used to be the biggest worrier. I used to worry about, I would worry about everything. Like right now, I would probably be worrying about the camera's going to shut off. I'm going to run out of room. Mm-hmm. And right now I'm not because I'm like, is, is, is mom going to like knock something right? over? Is, is she, she going to be, be a psycho? <laughs> she's psycho today no. or she's just not going to talk? But I just, I stopped worrying and I don't know what triggered me to stop worrying. I guess I realized like I was bringing everyone down. I was bringing myself down. I was making things just not fun. Mm-hmm. And then I wasn't like putting on makeup and I wasn't getting dressed and I wasn't feeling mm-hmm. good about myself because I was just like, who cares? And then I would just worry all day long. Oh, I got to do this. And then I got to do this. And I have this. And now I just don't. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll worry about this stuff tomorrow. Have you ever, have you ever gone through stuff? Have you ever okay. done it where um, you think somebody's Close. mad at you and then you're just mad at them? And then you're mean mad. Like, you're mean mad. Like, I'm going to show her. No, I'm not going to do that for her. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then you just, yeah, and then it's like, and then they're like. You ruined your whole day. I did. And then mm-hmm. they'll go, oh, you know, I'm, I'm on my period and, um, you know, somebody commented that, you know, maybe I had a spot in the back of my thing and that just ruined my day because now I'm afraid that somebody saw something. And I thought, oh, I thought you were just mad at me. No, I'm mad at you because I, you were right. mad at me, not really. And that's not actually the situation. But th- what's helped me with that, because that's, we work with family, so my brothers, my parents, and then we are, a lot of the employees are really close, like family, and we take on each other's emotions, mm-hmm. and I heard the saying, you, you can't, I can't change the way that you feel, or your emotions are yours alone, mm-hmm. like, they're your emotions, if you're angry, I have nothing to mm-hmm. do with that, you're making yourself angry, if I'm mm-hmm. upset, I'm upset. That's not, even if you made me upset, I'm still upset. I choose to be upset. So your feelings are your own. So sometimes in the warehouse, I'll hear people start to get upset or start to fight or start to get irritated or maybe that anxious and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm starting to, because I'm an empath, I'm starting to take on their emotions. So I'm like, music, 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 music. Mm -hmm. And I'll go and put my music on. We even have our own little Spotify station where everybody from our growth group can put their songs in. And that's my favorite because I'm like, okay, who put this song? Oh, this is a good one. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, um, don't listen to anybody behind you. Mm-hmm. Just keep dancing or and Remember singing. that day that I had had a long day. Like, I got there early, early. We were trying to get some stuff out. I had been dealing with the bank because I had to do money wires to uh, um, Canada, and they were messing it up. No, no problem on my end. All problems on the bank's end. They just weren't getting the routing number correctly to them, and it was a significant, significant amount of money. Mm-hmm. A lot. And they kept saying the person that needed the money was like, "Why are you not getting it to me?" And and I'm like, "I am." And then then I felt like. I'm doing something wrong and then I felt like they were mad at me and then I was mad at the bank and then and then I said to my embroidery guy I was like I'm just mad I'm mad I'm angry <laughs> and he's like what happened like where did this all come from and I, I feel know. like our family dynamic is okay how can I fix it and you can't like sometimes just you just had to be had mad. To be mad I just had to get that anger I just needed to go <gasps> and then it was like, and you you felt a little better, or you uh, felt stupid because uh, oh. <laughs> you yelled. <laughs> That's so, the thing is, sometimes somebody that didn't even need to be yelled at. I was like, yesterday I was just sitting chilling, and then Wilbur asked me to do something, and I was like, I just want five minutes to myself. So then I was like, and he's like, 
that was not necessary. I was like, I know, I know. <laughs> but I, I just needed to be angry because I wanted to be in my own world. I wanted to do my own thing. And then you talk to me. Like, How dare you? Right? But he didn't know. And then the, here's the thing. I was like, I am so sorry I yelled at you. That was not okay. I, I'm in a bad mood. I've got this going on. You know, I'm stressed. I'm tired. I got to go get the kids. Like, I'm sorry. And he's like, okay, whatever. It's fine. And then we started talking like it was nothing. The important thing is to, if you're feeling some way and you take it out on somebody, make sure you apologize. Yeah. Saying sorry is not a bad yeah, thing. No. It's a great thing. That's how you yeah. keep good friends. Yes. Back on the friend thing. Yeah. That, I think that's a lot of why we lose a lot of friends is a miscommunication or and, not and the anger. To say, I, yeah, not I, being honest I, I because they're not guy. family. Mm -hmm. That's the thing is like me and my brother can say things to each other I would never say to a friend. And then I'm like, oh, we have a great relationship. But that's because we're honest to each other and we like, oh, sorry, I was kind of a dick yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if yeah. I could say that to a friend, no, I'm just like, she was mean to me. I'm not si saying sorry. It was her fault or she, you know, she started right. it when it was me and Corbin, her. even if he's the one who started it, which he does. I always say sorry. I try to. I'm like, oh, or if he says sorry, I'm like, yes, no big deal. I apologize too for being rude. You know, mm -hmm. we, we need to apologize more and own up to our, um, emotions mm -hmm. i think it's a big one is owning our own emotions that's huge so here's a little stick i was going to tell you <clears throat> you and wilbur got into a fight the other you know it wasn't a fight it was like a eh, eh, eh. and you were remember. just like <laughs> i remember but i don't remember why we were fighting were so crappy to him and whatever the case may be and we went to go get coffee and she's like i'm not gonna even get him coffee because blah, blah, blah. and i'm like whatever so I got an extra coffee and I just played it off and I saw Wilbur pull up and he works really hard and right now the time of the year sucks for AC because nobody needs an AC they just need stuff fixed not an AC and we live in Texas so even like a heater people live without heaters they just go get a little space heater and put mm -hmm. it next to each other so, so I knew AC that business he is was just terrible a little stress on probably money having to pay his employees you know it's the beginning of the month um, mama was not being kind to him, or the kids were being crazy, mm -hmm. whatever the case We've may be. We've got three toddler as a five, four, and a one, a two-year-old just So I took the coffee, and his, his warehouse is right next to where I took the coffee, and I said, hey, Wilbur, here you go. I only got, got, I got this for you, Good but thing. you know what? I think she needs a super big hug, like super, super big hug. Go in there and just bear hug her. And he did, and I felt and way he, better. And, and I didn't tell her <laughs> that I told him. So she thought it was good just him. So he felt good. She felt good, and life went on. And I don't care. I didn't need it, though. Because that was the sorry that I needed, but then I also needed to say sorry back. So mm -hmm. I did. I said I was sorry for yelling mm -hmm. at him. And I think that's important because... We had a rough relationship the first few. I mean, our relationship's always been really strong, but the first few years, I mean, we, we'd we only lived together like six months before I got pregnant and everything. So it was ba three babies for us in five years. And so those five years, I also was super insecure. I worried a lot. I was a negative person. And so we would fight a lot. And he refused to say sorry. He never said sorry. He just didn't believe in saying sorry. So as we're on this like journey to bettering ourselves, you know, he's joined in. He's always been a really positive person, but he's taken on a lot of my negativity and worry because I push it so much. I have a very strong personality. And the last year, our relationship has been the best it's ever been because he apologizes. We communicate about little things and we, you know, we are, we try to not worry so much about what had happened in the past and things that we have fought about like we don't bring that up anymore mm -hmm. and then the future we don't we don't we don't plan it or pick it mm -hmm. we sit and talk about our dreams our vision boards and that's about it we say this is what i want oh wouldn't this be cool mm -hmm. you know one of my vision boards is a black tesla <laughs> and we talk about that and instead of saying oh i don't think you can afford it uh i don't think you're ever gonna get it i don't think you'll get it in the next year or anything like that he just accepts that that's what I want and that's cool. Oh wow, that's great, cool. You mm -hmm. know, and then I he's he has this big house on his vision board with a lake or or water, and I'm like, that's so cool. That's great. 
I don't even say like, ooh, I don't want that or anything. Mm -hmm. That's his vision board. That's what he wants. That's what he sees. And eventually things will work out the hopefully the way we want it. But mm -hmm. our whole pr purpose is to stay positive towards each other and apologize towards each other and communicate about small things. Not not necessarily like we don't text or call each other all day long. We're not like worried about where are you and tracking you and things. No, it's more like, hey, I'm going to be late today or hey, I have this today or mm -hmm. hey, um, are you okay getting the kids? You know, just tiny little things. And I think that helps a lot. Uh, yeah. And I, I feel like that's where friendships go wrong too is that lack mm -hmm. of communication. Or over, over, um, um, there was a, Daryl had drawn something and, you know, with us in the world of that's how we make money is with art and drawing and, you know, it goes on t-shirts, stickers, things like that, visual on computers and things like that. Um, Daryl had this great idea and he was spending so much time and I'm like, who is this for? Is this for you or is this for somebody else? And they're like, well, it's not for me. You know, I don't get my time anymore. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? There, There's no thing in the script that says that you have to do that for that person and spend all that time for that person that you are not enjoying. You need to, even if it's making money, there's... I'm matter. sorry, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, you, you're not you're not making yourself happy. Mm -hmm. You're not making me happy because you're not happy. You're not making the people around you happy because that's not making you happy. Fuck it. Right? You know what I mean? You make your own rules. And yep. Like, uh, that. there was this viral thing about washing the dishes. Like, And she's like, I just don't want to wash them because I have to scrub them before you put them in. And the therapist is like, why? Why not run the dishwasher twice? Yep. Heck, run it three times. And I, that changed my life because I was like, oh. I, I don't have to scrub the dishes. Why am I doing no. this? I hate it. Right. So don't do it. No. And then like the dishes the other day, I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to do the dishes. So when my husband comes home, the dishes are done for him. He doesn't care. He doesn't. And then I was like, I'm going to do the dishes because I want a clean right? kitchen. I want the kitchen to be mm -hmm. clean. I want the dishes to be clean. And I want to use those dishes and mugs tomorrow for my coffee. Right. That's why I'm doing the dishes. I'm right. not doing it for him. I'm not doing it for them. I am to a point because it's their dishes too. But I'm doing it for me because I'm OCD about the cleanliness or I want a clean kitchen or I want the dishes done. Yeah. He doesn't care if they're done or not. He worked hard all day, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe he'll do them for me sometimes, you know, if he does. Or he does other things. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sorry, somebody's, uh, they're texting. There's yeah. ice outside. Eek. Yikes. But yeah, yeah, there's, there's certain times where it's just like, Okay, sorry, they're texting. Sorry, I should have turned that off. Yeah. What were we talking about? I can't mute uh, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, even like uh, my thing Doing is things is for yourself and having no rules. That's what we were talking. So about. we have, we have a truck in my driveway. Two trucks in my driveway. A BMW that's not working. Corbin's car, Allie's vehicle, Wilbur's truck, Wilbur's van, Bill's car, um, a bike. What other vehicles do we have of driving vehicle? For what? Just to drive. I don't know. I mean, more than people, right? Yeah. And so I hitch rides. Not that I don't like to drive. I like to drive. I just, I choose to hitch a ride like in the morning times I like to come over and hang out with the kids not every morning I like to hang out with the kids but most mornings I like to hang out with the kids why'd you do that what do you like you no the uh he oh. just texted and I was reading it and I was thinking about it he said something about his dog <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry so here, you know it's like it, it's one of those deals it's like I could drive I could take the the red truck and take it, and then Daryl has to find a way to get to work. Right. You know, right? you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's like, I don't even know where my story was going. I know. Right. They texted uh, so much. I turned off my phone and everything, but the way they were texting, it's really icy outside. But, and we live in Texas, so ice is a big deal. <laughs> but one of the things that, that, you know, people are like, oh, you don't like to drive? No, I love to drive. I just don't see why I should take a vehicle and drive by myself to a place where I could have 
communication when we're all going to the, the same, same place. place. You and just prefer like, that that company and that community. But sometimes if I go with my husband, he has 50,000 places Spots. that he has to go to. If you go with you me, have, you feel like you have to help with the kids. kids. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, I got them to school twice in a row this morning I by know. myself. But then I miss them. But then I feel guilty, like, do you, not helping. Do you helping. miss them because you feel guilty not helping, or do you just... I love the cuddle time in the, in the morning times. Yeah. The, you know what the hardest part is? Is I hate um, when I have to leave them and then, you know, you know what I mean? I only get those few minutes few with minutes, them. Yeah. Whereas I would rather spend more time with them. Yeah. I, but sometimes I feel like if you come over in the mornings every morning, like it kind of burns you out. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. And so instead, you need to come up with a schedule of like, hey, have them come over Wednesday for dinner, mm -hmm. and Friday for so seven. Oh, you should drop them off at my house. And I'll you go with dad, and then I'll take them to school. Right. We should try that. That sounds terrible. Why would I do that? I don't want to stop 20 times with dad. So, see, you have to set up healthy boundaries. Because if I said, yeah, because she wanted me to do it, then I might not have had any fun or it would not would have been what I wanted. Right? That's where you got to put your foot down and be like, this is what I want. And this is the boundary that I'm setting even if it might hurt other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Because if it hurts my feelings, their feelings are still going to get hurt when I either continue to lie or I explode because I'm frustrated. Or, you know, you're either way, mm -hmm. that's the problem with feelings is you, you try to use uh, it as an excuse like, um, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings, so I just said yes. But you're going to either hurt their feelings in the long run, right? Yeah. Or you're going to hurt your own feelings and then you're going to get bogged down and tired. Mm -hmm. Like, I have an employee that's going to be there at 9 o'clock, guys. Let's go. So I have to go with somebody that can get me there before 9 o'clock so I can get my shit done before right. that person gets there. So that but that's not my done. problem. <laughs> right? It is. But I choose to. I, I'm there before 9 anyway, so it doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> How do we get to work before everybody else and drop off three kids mm -hmm. and yeah. get coffee? But why Why does it matter? It doesn't. Isn't that the point of owning our own business? Yeah. Is yeah. that they can kind of come when they want to as long as they're getting their work done. I think that we get caught up so much in the 9 to 5 and that we have to work 9 to 5 that we forget the whole purpose of us starting a business was that we don't have to work the 9 to 5, but we need to get done what we need to get done. Like somebody said this morning, I'm not going to say who, oh, Allie's off today? I'm like, yeah. no, she's not. The other day I left at no, like 3.30 and they we're said, we're working. Right. The other day I left at 3.30 and they were like, oh, you're leaving already? And I was like. Is it like 1 o'clock, yeah. 2 o'clock? And I, I was mean, like, it it's 3.30, 30. it's not a big deal. I got done everything I need to got do get done and more. I kind of burnt myself out. I kind of work hard. But I just want to be like, hey, if you have work on your, if you have work to do, then I'm doing my job. And that's all that matters. As long as you have work to do, you know that I'm doing mm -hmm. my job. Because I'm marketing sales, emails, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So as long as I'm doing this. And making sure that we're getting product in because we print shirts and um, embroidery and screen print on our full warehouse, then that works out. See, this I made this spread mm. kindness. You can't really see it on here, but it is a really cute sticker that Mindy did yesterday. Did you like it? Mindy it. has the best stickers ever. Can we get her on here? Yeah, if she wants to be. I don't like to force anybody on a podcast that doesn't want to be on a podcast. That's why I was doing it by myself for a little while. You kind of didn't want me in today. No, I thought I didn't want you in. I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about or anything. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? Because uh -huh. it's not working. No, don't I don't feel guilty anymore. Oh, we got some Rice Krispie treats from our favorite place. Roast me coffee. Roast me coffee. <laughs> it's a little coffee. They actually, this coffee is spicy. It's so good. Okay, I just so want to tell you that every time I go in, I... I am not the one that drinks the same thing over and over again. I have to drink something different all the time. Like, even food. You know, like, I drink, but, you know, like... You don't it, want the same flavor. It, my husband knows me after 32 years that he cannot pick what I want because it usually changes. <laughs> so, so they made this creamsicle flavor, and they make their own um, Syrup. syrups. And... I kind of wanted like a hot chocolatey flavor. And do you remember those things where you 
mash it and it's an orange and it breaks apart. It's the orange chocolate and you mash it and it breaks, breaks apart. That's my favorite chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love that chocolate. I could eat that so every day. So they made me one in, ch in hot, hot chocolate, chocolate cream Oh my god. Is that fancy? So I mean, I'm, it's almost gone. And really, we buy from them all the time, not because they're just absolutely amazing, because they are. Their coffee is always spot on. But they're local, and they're a good mm -hmm. couple, and I, I just love supporting local businesses that you can just tell, put their heart and soul into things. So important they to me do. to be able to support. Mm -hmm. I think that's all we had to say. I feel like we jumped around a lot, but I feel like eh, there's no rules. Who cares? Mm -hmm. There's no rules to life. Oh, remember that. Can I show them my phone? Why? Cause this is really cute. Okay, so uh, I have Nina, 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 it's and Bali, Bali, a fashion, 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 and then when you scroll up, isn't that creepy? <laughs> it's me and my sister. You can see the at the, so this, wait, how do you do it? I have no I idea. Know. I don't know. It's my I couldn't phone even turn off my text message. My phone so, broke. Oh, there it is. So. Bash and bash and bash and then then uh, Hopefully it's clown. scary. scary clown. Clowns don't scare me, but I never watch scary shows with clowns. So. Okay, so we are going to wrap it up. Guys, if you like this, or even if you watch a little bit, go hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, it'll ding. And tell us some secrets. Ooh, tell us. Yeah, if you made it this far, I want to, I want to tell us some secrets. Secrets, secrets, secrets. I like secrets. secrets. And we know that you made it far. Ooh, oh. Or, or drop, um... Drop a red balloon emoji for scary clowns. Then we know that you made it this um, far. Oh my gosh. If you drop us, how about if you drop us an emoji, scary clown will send you a sticker. Well, what if this gets like viral and there's like 5,000 people who watch it in like three months? Okay, so only. <sighs> and then you have to get their addresses. That's too hard. Um... That's too hard. Maybe we could do like a sticker giveaway and the first person to click the um, link gets it or we'll do a sticker discount like a free sticker discount something i don't know check the links there might oh, be something in maybe there. we'll do something special <laughs> dun, i was just dun, thinking dun. for like it's almost valentine's day that would be fun what what kind of sticker i don't know what are you thinking you want to make something how about let's make a scary valentine sticker or um or or something about we'll make a valentine sticker and i'll do it for like, for those like of you who you click it, either friend. get, <laughs> get like, a free sticker, but you have to pay shipping or something. I don't know. Oh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Look, they have stamps. They have regular stamps. I mean, they're 43 cents. I know. Stamps. I just like when people can track it, so in case mm -hmm. it gets lost. I feel like they the USPS loses stickers lost. all the time. If you're okay with maybe having a sticker that gets lost, send us your email and we'll send you a sticker. Right? Is that cool? Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah, because it does get expensive. I'll put, a, I'll put a link. That way they can open up the links in the description. And, okay. and you get a free sticker if you made it this far. If you made it this far. Don't and tell anybody. Remember, yeah. It's a secret. And what's the magic thing? Maybe I'll do like two stickers and you can pick which one you want. So. Okay, thanks for Unless watching I'm us with my it. crooked eyebrow. It looks like I'm excited on one side. I'm just never. If I was good at makeup, I could fix that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's my makeup that did it. Maybe it's me who made it that way. Could have oh. been me. All right, guys. Nice. Stay beautiful. Stay kind. We love you. Thanks for joining us. I forgot we're still recording the podcast, too, as we're looking at our stuff on YouTube. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. <laughs>